That shit good. If I'm pregnant, bitch. Now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody now, sing that shit. Play. Girl, Tay Pancakes, Tay Kate Taylor, Tay Kate Tay, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, uh, as y'all reference the table, at the table. See, I said table because these dogs are at the table, and I'm about to put them in a cage because they acting up. So, for today's video, we just gonna do a good old mukbang. I'm gonna do a life update, let y'all know what's going on and stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to edit this as little as possible. And is it? Am I crooked? I feel crooked. Like I feel like this is crooked, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, if it was crooked, I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. So, I'm just going to chit-chat with y'all and do a mug ball. Update y'all on life and all of that good stuff. So, in the mug ball, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all what I'm eating. So, obviously, we eat seafood. So, I got some snow crab legs and all the good regular stuff. The snow crab legs, the lobster. Lobster, bitch. I'm balling. And how good is what I need to be. Um, I'm also going to try a hack that I saw on TikTok. And I'm going to use um, noodles. So that's why I got to make sure I got extra sauce. So I got enough sauce for the noodles. Mm. Yes, bitch. Yes. Do I want to put it out on this plate? On this plate? Yes, I do. I want y'all to see all the goodness going on in here. Mmm. Okay, we have these noodles. I don't have no gloves either, so my hands about to get messy as hell. The dogs are like literally fighting, so we got noodles. Wow, I didn't expect it to pop out like that. But y'all see the noodles right here, y'all see the vision. I'm gonna just take the extra sauce I got and just pour it on top of the noodles. And we gonna see what this tastes like. They said to use ramen noodles, but the store already had noodles, so I was like, why not just use the noodles they have? And my leave out, y'all see this, bitch? This quick weave is ready to go. If you if you follow me on my blog channel, which you should, because I'm gonna be posting there probably a lot more often than I do on here. Um, and y'all just follow my life and such. Got some ice water, the dogs over here fighting over my food. That's how you notice know by the hit. That's how you notice know by the hit. Mmm. Bitch. Oh my god. Why have I not been doing this? That shit good. Go to your nearest seafood spot. Get you a muck, I mean, get you a um a boil. Throw some noodles in there. Bam. It should not be this delicious. Mm. I'm glad to have gotten positive feedback on my new channel because y'all, I'm getting older. Like, I love challenges and stuff, I do. But I just wanna show y'all my life. Like, blogging is so fun to me. And I know some of y'all, might not be a fan of the vlogging as much as y'all are challenges and stuff, but baby, I love it. I know fans that really like me for me will follow me on that channel, but for those who don't, I respect it too, because I'm not giving up my Tay Pancakes brand and just doing vlogs and not doing challenges and stuff because that's what a lot of y'all subscribe to me for. Vlogging might get hard with this um new epidemic we got going on out here. I'm gonna tell you something. My ass about to go on lockdown myself. Don't put us on lockdown. Bitch, I'm going on lockdown myself. I'm staying in the house. I'm not going nowhere. Bitch, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Like, every time I open up my uh, TikTok, I get a new TikTok of somebody showing their their, their pot. And it's scary. Like, people think it's a game. I'm not, don't invite me to no bar. Don't invite me to the club. Shit, don't invite me to your house. I don't want to come. <laughs> want to come over for something? Nope. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out. Nope. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Yo. I paid $19 for this lure behind uh, lobster. Lobster is so expensive for no reason. I'm gonna tell you something. I like lobster, but lobster is like glorified shrimp. Like, it's like a big shrimp. That's what it tastes like to me. It's good, but it's like all the money I just paid for this lobster and y'all gave me this baby lobster. Y'all know y'all did wrong. And then most of it is show. These, I wish y'all could see how these dogs are staring at me, like waiting for me to get them something. But it's not gonna happen. All this sodium. I be setting myself up with mukbangs because it's so hard for me to eat and talk at the same time. I think I saw another YouTuber talk about that. It's not like talking with somebody. So since somebody not on the other side engaging with you, you can forget that you even on the camera. Especially when the food good. But it's just food delicious. Y'all don't even realize it because I edited it out, but I just sat here in silence for five minutes, bitch. 
I should have put my hair back. Not even enough hair to put the ponytail on. Y'all, I'm thinking about moving back to LA again. But LA was so stressful when I lived there, y'all. Everything always feels like, I don't know, people talk about it all the time within my industry, like within social media influences and stuff. But making genuine friends in LA is really, really hard. And when I say genuine friends, like the bond you have with friends in your hometown just don't be the same as you meet when you like in the industry. Like, yo, look at the juices coming from this crab. But one thing I will say is these crab, but to be honest, y'all, I've really been struggling with YouTube because I don't know. It's hard to like, I've never really niched down. Like me as a person, I don't have a niche. Like I don't, I try everything. I do everything. I feel like I do that with YouTube. So sometimes it gets hard thinking of ideas, thinking of what content I can do next. And I end up stressing so much about it that not that I don't want to do it because I really do want to do it. I love making content, but I just go on like this random loop of just stressing on what's next, what I'm gonna film next, what I'm gonna edit next, and it's hard. Like social media is not easy. Like it takes a lot of creativity to do social media, depending on what you do. And I'm a, I'm not gonna, I'm not too much to say that social media is the hardest job that you can have because I'm grateful to be able to make content for a living, like. I'm not about to get on this internet and be like, oh my God, being an influencer is so hard when this nigga's breaking their back for their next check, you know? But I also wouldn't sit here and say that social media is the easiest thing. It feels easy too because, because editing can be a lot sometimes, but it feels easy too because I like doing it. So I'm grateful to be doing something that I like. Y'all probably thinking like I've been so paced on the content. Well, as far as tape pancakes, because on my vlog channel, baby, I've been posting. So if you're not over there, then you don't know what's going on, but I've been posting. I feel like I've done everything and I don't want to venture off and get too far off of what I be doing. You know, I don't want y'all to be like, bitch, what you posting this for? Like, what this got to do with anything? Like when I first started my channel, I was doing nail videos. I was doing hair videos. If you were OG, you know Tay Pancake, you've been doing everything. Like, I used to get on here and just do stuff. And it works, but I used to be trying to find what I love. Like I'm doing a bunch of stuff that I like and I haven't found what I love. Now I love vlogging, so I'm happy that I found that. Hopefully that's something that is successful for me so that way I can keep doing that. I'm sorry y'all, I'm trying to meet out this goddamn shit and it's not coming. The problem with seafood boil is, I love seafood, seafood boil, but it never filled me up, bitch. Like these noodles might help, but I should've got more potatoes. Potatoes help, um, I don't like sausage, so. I wanna niche down my audience. Like, I wanna be like, oh, I'm known for this. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Cause I feel like my audience is all over the place sometimes because I am all over the place. People are like, oh, I came here for this and this bitch giving me this. Like, I came here for story time and this bitch keep eating. <laughs> I came here for nails and now this bitch is story time. And like, you know, so that's another reason why I made my vlog channel. So that way I can have a channel that y'all know why y'all here. Like, Bitch, we're here to see some vlogs. I don't know what you finna vlog about, but you finna vlog something. So that's why I feel like I'm excited about that channel. Like, I wanted a space where people knew why they was there. Like, bitch, we, oh my gosh. If y'all hear crunching, it's the dang on dogs. Y'all see them dogs in the back? You only see one of them. We watching uh, my boyfriend's cousin went out of town and we watching her dog. And these two together, devils. They be fighting all the time, just bad. But yeah, like I really wanna be posting every day, bitch. Like getting that content out there. But my brain don't be knowing what the fuck to do. And another thing is whatever I do, I wanna make sure it's something that I really, really love doing. Like, like I'm trying to find my new spark on YouTube. But I don't wanna be all too different from what I already started y'all at, you know? Yo, I saw this post that was saying tampons cause infertility. This is completely off topic. See, this is how my brain works. And then I see another post they said pads is bad. So what my coochie supposed to use? TikTok is a place where you can get a lot of misinformation and you can also get a lot of good information that you didn't know. Bitch, look at that leave out. Like, but it be leaving me so stumped. Like, now everybody throwing away their pads and tampons. Like, what y'all doing? Free bleeding? Cause my coochie ain't doing that. I bleed too happy to be free bleeding all over the uh the goddamn world. Everybody wanna know it's my time to run. Somebody might think I got shot. You know, I've been eating these crabs this whole time and something don't taste right. God, please don't let me get sick. But I just kept eating them because I was so hungry. Like, I have not eaten since this morning. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. Like, and I've just been eating. Lord, don't let them crabs be bad. Lord, Lord, I prayed over this food. Don't let it be bad. Please, Lord. Yo, I had a, a subscriber. Well, I don't know if they subscribe, but I had somebody DM me, DM me on Instagram. They basically said that they used to go to school with me and I bullied them or something like that, right? So, 
me, I'm like, did I bully somebody? Like, oh my gosh, like, I'm a bitch. Like, I can't believe I did that. Like, it was high school, bitch. I don't remember. I was like, I don't think I bully nobody. But I don't know if I made fun of somebody and was like, oh, you ugly, your mama, like. So, I'm not, not that I was gonna respond because people are weirdos. I was looking at the messages and I never responded. And I got another message. And they told me I was lying about my name. I was like, that's not even your name. I went to school with you and it's a bitch. My name is Taylor Stevens. And it's always been Taylor Stevens, boo boo, since birth. So I don't know who you remember or who traumatized you, baby, but please take it somewhere else. They try to say my name was Ashley. And I'm, this is all conversations with themselves. Cause I ain't reply. They said my name was Ashley and I made fun of them. And now I'm, I don't know, listen. I don't know who Ashley is, but I pray that you find who Ashley is because you got some pent up trauma from that bullying you got. Because the way they was going in on me and my messages, I'm going to change my name to Ashley, bitch. I almost apologize. Just so they can get some closure. And I also was thinking about doing a black business haul where I was going to open my messages for black businesses to send me products. And just do a haul on uh, black businesses, so give black businesses some, um, shine because i do sheen hauls and you know hauls that aren't from our people um and i feel like it would be good for me to do like some sort of black business haul this corn is nasty and i typically love corn and a mukbang but it's nasty uh, yes and y'all know a bitch got hush puppies i love hush puppies like they're so bomb it's a nice balance of like sweet and Oh, I'm like, it's so fucking good. I love food so much. Recently, I thought I was pregnant, right? I'm a hypochondriac in everything I do. If I think I'm sick, I'm Googling everything. And how I'm pregnant, y'all know how much the pregnancy test industry has gotten out of me just because I've been thinking. Like, oh shoot, I'm like, especially because I'm on birth control, so my period is not, you know, I don't get it every month. A lot of times it's just be a toss in the air, bitch. And be like, this either it or it's not. And I'm on birth control, so I should be like, okay, I'm good. Like, but bitch, I be scared. So, once again, I bought another pregnancy test, but I spend so much money on pregnancy tests all the time because I just be scared. Like, I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid about everything. Like, I be a little nauseous in the morning. I'm like, oh Lord, this is it. They done got me, bitch. They done got me. Mm -mm. I just, I'm not ready for that. Nah, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. Mentally, I'm not ready for that. Relationship status, I'm not ready for that because I ain't married. Like, I got too much going on, but I got too much going on to be hearing wah, wah, wah. I already hear ah, 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 with these dogs. All I can think of if I'm pregnant, bitch, that's it. That would have been my last, that would have been my, that would have been my last straw right there. Pregnancy test should be free. I'm probably pregnancy test should be free. Pads and tampons should be free. All that shit need to be free. Because you know you can get one for 98 cents at Walmart. I think it's still 98 cents. It's one that um nurses say that you should use because that's what they use at the doctor's office. And you ain't gotta get like the fancy one, the digital one. And then you can always get it from the Dollar Tree, which I don't know how accurate the ones from the Dollar Tree is. Like if I went to the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Tree pregnancy test told me that I wasn't pregnant, I wouldn't be satisfied. I wouldn't. I would have to go somewhere else and get another pregnancy test. So I just wouldn't even go. Even though I'm sure it all works the same, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. Ice water, when you're eating something salty, tastes different. It tastes like crack. Now, I don't know what crack tastes like, or you smoke crack. I don't know what the feeling of crack is, but I would imagine it's this ice water, off this sodium. Cause baby, mm. and I'm sorry, water out of a plastic container, or any beverage out of a plastic container tastes way better than drinking out of glass. I got glass cups in there and I said, no baby, I need I need a plastic cup because I need that, I needed the hit. Like it's something about how the ice ding on the side. Like when it's in a cup, it's like when it's in a glass cup, it's like bitch, when it's in a um uh, in one of them or like a um or like them dollar store cups, bitch. When the ice, it sound different. Like my mouth watering before the water, like. Plastic cups all the way. 
some for some reason I'm sure that I'm not supposed to use plastic cups and I should use glass, but I feel not that. And this plastic is right here, baby. This is right here, baby. It'll do it every time. I'm starting something that I told y'all I would start a while ago. Um, but y'all see when I drop it. But seriously, if you do want to see like content from me more often, go ahead and follow my vlog channel. Um, I've been trying to rack up on more content because I really want to post on it every day. It's easier for me to post every day because I'm vlogging my life for y'all. But yeah, make sure that y'all follow me on there. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We'll leave some comments. Go show some love. Turn on the post notifications for that channel. Um, I hope you still got post notifications on for this channel. I have a problem, y'all. I love ice. This ice is so good. I've been sitting here in front of this camera for two minutes eating ice. I ain't said a word. But yeah, this is the end of this video. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.